हेलो एवरी वन आई एम राकेश एंड आई एम थ्रिल टू वेलकम यू टू माई ब्रांड न्यू यूट्यूब चैनल कोड स्ट्रीम टेक टू किक द थिंग्स ऑफ लेट मी शेयर अ बिट अबाउट माई सेल्फ आई हैव अराउंड एलेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन आई टी एंड सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन ट्रेनिंग एंड मेंटेनिंग अदर्स विथ ओवर इलेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन आई टी आई एम करेंटली सर्विंग एज अ टेक लीड एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव डेडिकेटेड माई लास्ट सिक्स ईयर्स इन ट्रेनिंग एंड मेंटरिंग अदर्स माई प्राइमरी एक्सपर्टीज लाइज इन पेगा अ पावरफुल टूल दैट हैज शेप्ड माई करियर अपार्ट फ्रॉम पेगा आई हैव गॉट चांस टू वर्क ऑन सी शाप जावा एंगुलर जेस एंड वेब ए पी आई सो मेनी ऑफ यू रिकग्नाइज मी फॉर माई प्रीवियस यूट्यूब चैनल पेगा पोर्टल एंड मूविंग फॉरवर्ड ऑल माई वीडियोज विल बी होस्टेड ऑन दिस चैनल कोड स्ट्रीम टेक सो If you are passionate about tech and eager to learn new things make sure you subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications So talking about Pega Pega is an American software company based in Cambridge Massachusetts it has been founded by Alan Treffler in 1983 So Pega is a no code low code platform it means you don't really need to write any code to build the applications but it doesn't mean you cannot write the code and if required you can add custom code to your application and talking more about pega pega is built on java with help of pega tool you can develop applications for business process management crm that is customer relationship management and many more not only bpm or crm but pega can be used to build any kind of web based application but widely pega is used for bpm and crm applications so today we are going to see how you can kick start your pega learning journey please note that like previous versions you will not get any option to download pega personal edition instead you need to make use of pega community edition to practice the things so basically you will create one account on pega community and with help of that you will get access to the pega community edition on which you will practice the things so let's get started so guys first of all you need to log in to community.pega.com and if you are the first time user then you need to sign up here and after that you can log in if you are working with any pega partner company then you must register and log in with your company email id otherwise you may log in with your personal email id so let me click on login and i am going to log in with my company email id let me enter my email id and password So my login is done and once you log in on Pega community you will find different options in the header menu like community hub documentation training support and marketplace so we will visit these items later so if you go to training here you will find one option missions so within missions you will find different training modules given by Pega you can go through the missions here and complete them to get the respective badges Now here from training itself just click on visit pega academy Now from here go to get started and click on pega platform community edition So if you are visiting this page for the first time then you need to register for the community edition and if you have already registered for it then you can go to trial page and access your community edition let's click on agree to the terms of service and click register for community edition so here you will get a pop up saying that your community edition trial is almost ready and it will take couple of minutes to make it active so just click on this my trials page so it will take some time to load the my trials page so here if you observe your community edition is offline then you can make it active so at the moment 
this community edition is ready to use and you need to simply click on it so now we will land on this page where we need to decide how we are going to create the new application so the first option you will get is like build from a blueprint for blueprint we are going to have a separate video and we will see all the options related to that in that respective video so in this video we are going to focus on build manually option and within that you will get a couple of options the first one is build from scratch with help of this you will be able to create constellation based application and you will get another option that is build from an existing application where you can create an application on top of the existing application and also it will give you the option to create applications which are based on theme cosmos and ui kit so if you are not aware of what is theme cosmos what is ui kit and what is constellation then soon there will be a separate video on these topics and also i'll tell you like when you can go with constellation and when you can go with theme cosmos or ui kit so at the moment let me click on build from an existing application okay so as we have logged in for this instance for the first time so definitely there is no application and here you can see this option you do not have any application configured as a template and that's why you will not be able to see any list over here so simply click on search all types and from here you will get one autocomplete control just click over there and hit the down arrow and here you will get the option to select the base application let's say if you want to build your application on constellation you can select this option if you want to go with theme cosmos you can select this option or if you want to go with ui kit then you will select this option so i just wanted to demonstrate that these options are over here but i'm not really going with these options at the moment so i will simply go back and at the moment i'll click on build from scratch okay so once you click on build from scratch you will get this option to select the constellation ui so here you will not get the traditional ui option at the moment so in the previous releases along with constellation ui the traditional ui also was visible but at the moment that has been taken off and also you will find in this create new application menu pega keeps on innovating new things so at the moment let's click select so here you need to provide a name to your application so let's say loan application and let's click on advanced configuration So the first option you will get is to select application structure and make sure every time implementation is selected and you're not going with framework so this is the application id loan let's keep it as it is let's go below organization so let me provide a name to my organization let's say cst and once i update my organization name the class structure will also get changed so here let me provide division and unit name as well so let's say division is a pack and unit let's say india so based on your business requirement you can choose different divisions and units now let's click on generate division layer so observe this class layer once i click generate division layer it will include a pack division here in this class structure and after that i'll get this option generate unit layer and if i select that as expected this ind unit layer will also get added to the class structure or class layers you can say 
So use of these two checkboxes generate unit layer or generate division layer is in the application classes. So whatever structure you can see over here in the same way it's gonna create the classes. So here work will be the child class to work loan is the parent class IND is the parent class of loan APAC is the parent class of IND and at the end CST is the parent class of APAC and if you uncheck these options then you won't see division and unit layers in this class layers so at the moment i am going to keep them unchecked and i'll quickly click save so whenever you create any application make sure you visit this advanced configuration without miss and at the end click create application So guys, as you can see, we have successfully created the application and now let's log in to our application. So for that, let's click on log off and click on login here. And let's click on login with SSO. So like this we have successfully created our application so as we move on we are going to visit all the parts of pega we will explore all the topics in a great detail so guys this is all about today's video so we have just kick started with our pega learning journey in this video so as we move on i'll add more videos to this series in the next few videos we will talk about career paths in pega career opportunities in pega and definitely there will be more such videos on pega development so guys when i'm adding this video at the same time i'll be adding a blog to my site www.codestreamtech.com and you will get the link in the description and if you are looking for a complete pega developer training where you can learn the things right from the basics till advanced level then definitely you can join my course from pegaportal.com at the moment it's hosted on pegaportal.com but in future if you need any references then definitely you can go to the description and get the latest link so thanks for watching this video stay healthy stay safe have a nice day